No excuses. I've just been busy. Is that an excuse? Probably. Yeah. So this is the box and where, where I'm up to so far. Um, I like how it's come together and I'm pretty happy with most of the elements and the objects in each of the corners. Um, so now that I've got the composition pretty much right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to glue everything down. So I'll glue down these uh, panels using silicon to put them in place and then I'll slowly glue all of the objects in. Um, this is the only one that I'm still working on, I'm not 100% happy with. Um, so I'll play around with that one a bit more. Um, but the other two, the rosaries with the little handmade rose roses and also the lock um, which I'm quite happy with. So this top piece that's going on, the frame, I'm going to age around the edges because it's really gold at the moment. I want to tone it down a little bit so I'm going to age it and then I'm going to come back with Perspex um, once I've glued everything down, I've already, I've already cut a piece of the perspex and that'll actually sit, sit over the top um, and then that obviously will sit down and I'll glue everything down so it completes the box so everything's sealed in. And then what I'll do is I'll flip it over and put uh, backing on it so I can put hang it, um, D-rings and have a wire a backing for it to hang on. Um, I've still got a little bit of work to do inside here. I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do to finish off Jesus. Um, but yeah, it's coming together. So I thought I'd just show you a bit of an update. So I'm working on this uh, work on board and what I've done is I have I didn't like what I did underneath. So I've come back and I'm going to collage over the top. So. I cut this piece of um, paper out which I'm probably going to put there because it kind of lines up with the eyes and with these other marks and this sort of flows in like that and then I got this old McDonald's wrapper that I found on the on the ground um, which I look quite liked so I'm probably going to glue that down on top and then I'm going to screen print over the top of that and I think I'm probably going to do this clown face and just screen print straight over the top once I've glued all that down um, and then see how it looks um, but kind of enjoy making these um, works on board got two in the at the framers at the moment and hopefully they'll be ready to be picked up um, today so hopefully I can show you uh, how they turn out So I'm really happy with how the screen print turned out. It's a little bit faded in some areas, which I really like. It's a great size as in terms of proportion. I think it works really well with the artwork. And overall, yep, happy with the progress of this piece. I'm not going to do too much more to this. Uh, I think it's pretty much resolved and just a couple of little touches up here and there. I may come back with some sandpaper. Um, just sandpaper some of these edges down to give it a little bit more of a rustic feel. I may even take this section and bring another, bring repeat that here in a diamond shape sort of coming down here, uh, sandpaper it back and see what it looks like. But I will leave it a few days because I always find if you do leave your artworks for a few days, you know, you can kind of step back and take a look and decide whether, uh, what, whether to progress certain areas or not. But anyway, that's where we're up to. Hope you like it. But as you can see, I'm into assemblage. If you follow me on Instagram, I've been posting my uh, process and my journey of uh, the boxes that I've been working on because I really do like assemblage boxes. I love trying to create some sort of world inside a box. I like that mystery, I like the symbolism, uh, I just like the whole aspect of it. And I've been am animating a couple of, of my images, um, which has been a lot of fun. And I know some of you have commented and said you really like my animations that I'm adding to um, my pictures. But here's one of my finished sardine can shrines. 
absolutely love how this turned out. Um, it's about eight or nine years in the making, but really happy with the design. As you can see, it's a sardine can uh, from Norway that I brought when I moved back to Australia, but just really love how it's turned out. And I'm putting it up on uh, my Etsy store to sell because I'm ready to part with it. Um, so check it out if you're interested. And this piece is also finished. Um, and I think it just represents everything that I like about assembly. Just lots of symbolism, lots of layering, there's lots of depth. There's, it's like being transported to another world. Um, and I kind of leave it up to your own imagination with what you end up coming up with, but super happy. Other than that, hope you've been inspired by what you've seen. Um, please ask me any questions. Follow me on Instagram. If you, if you haven't subscribed and you want to, please feel free to hit the notification button if you want to be notified when I'm posting my next video. Um, and as always, thanks for watching. Later.